Hello and welcome back to The Curious Reader. My name is Susan. This month we'll be talking about Thirsting for Life, Animalia. Our first book today, Wicked Bugs by Amy Stewart. In this book, it shares the dark side of our relationship with bugs. Stewart has uncovered the most diabolical bugs of all shapes and sizes. It's a mixture of history, intrigue, science, and murder. For example, the Promosian subterranean termite, which possibly caused more damage to New Orleans during Hurricane Katrina than the wind and the water. The descriptions and examples of how insects have been used in war were really amazing. This comes in hardcover, CD book, cloud library ebook, and also a children's version. Check it out. Our next title for today is Zubiquity by Barbara Natterson Horowitz, MD, and Katherine Bowers. What animals can teach us about health and the science of healing? It really shows how humans and animals have a lot of the same diseases. And if doctors and veterinarians work together, they might be able to solve some issues or health concerns. The best way to describe this book is a quote that I read in the book. Our essential connection with animals in ancient, is ancient and runs deep. It extends from body to behavior, from psychology to society, forming the basis of our daily journey of survival. In a world where no creatures are truly isolated and diseases spread around as fast as jets can fly, we are all canaries and the entire planet is our coal mine. There's a lot of information in this book, but it's definitely easy to read. It's back dense. I enjoyed the audiobook for this. You can always stop it and go back or read a book in between. There's a lot of information and it's really, really interesting. Um, some of my favorite chapter, chapters were Rorgasm, Scared to Death, and Leaving the Nest. This is available in hardcover and CD book. This is another book by Amy Stewart. It's called The Earth Moved, the last book for today. I love nature books and particularly nature books that focus on little details that not many people know about. Did you know that Charles Darwin started some research on earthworms or that the giant earthworm can be heard from above the ground? And how about the potential to use earthworms to process sewer waste and regenerate contaminated areas? What a great idea, right? This is available on hardcover in Hoopla, in ebook and audiobook. A great read, check it out. Hello, thank you for joining me today on The Curious Reader. Please feel free to leave your comments below or any suggestions you may have. I'll see you next month, first Friday of the month at 5 p.m. Thank you and have a great day.